morning everyone and welcome back to my channel today is going to be a busy one we have quite a lot to get done uh, we do here in a little bit have to get up get ready and take hunter to the vet that's the first thing we're gonna do and then plenty of cleaning motivation for you i do have a little bit of cooking nothing too crazy a very easy dinner and a lunch that can be really good for meal prepping so let's go get started hi dogger that's the face of realizing he's at the vet He's staring at the vet. Hunter. He's like, I don't even want to look it's at it. It's okay, baby. <laughs> Children drove me crazy. Time for Duncan. We're back home and I'm gonna let the kids get started on their little donut holes, but I wish I could play the song in the background. I'm not even gonna say the name just to save myself the trouble, but it is our toddler's new favorite song. And as you can see, she's dancing here with her little donuts. It is the cutest thing when she does this. First thing I'm getting out of the way this morning is a load of laundry. The kids' clothes have been stacking up on me. I didn't do laundry yesterday, and this is literally skipping one day it does this to me. This morning we rushed out the door and took the dog to the vet. So when I came home, I went to go make my bed before I started the rest of the laundry. And I'm glad I really checked because I didn't realize Declan brought his snack into my bed yesterday evening. And now there's stains all over my white comforter. So that has to get washed now. Like I'm not even sure what he was eating, but there's like stuff there, but it also looks like some dirt from playing outside yesterday and some kind of dot there. and. Some other looks like his strawberry Nutri-Grain bar just caked in my bed. I feel like I'm washing my bed multiple times a week. I've gotta get Declan to stop having snacks in here, but I did order some brand new sheets that are finally gonna fit this bed right, so I'm really excited about that for later this week. Moving on to living room, once again, have to fix my cushions because my kids use my couch as a fort. I need some updated decoration ideas in here. I don't really know what to do for spring and for summer. I know it's like a lemon and a yellow and stuff like that's a good color palette for summer, but I just don't know where I wanna go with the throw pillows and the throw blankets in this little area of the house. Gwen loves her toy vacuum and recently she's just been all about following me around. Every time she sees me grab my vacuum, she'll run to her room and grab hers. It's just so cute and always puts a smile on my face. Time to switch loads so I can get my sheets and my comforter clean. Moving on to the kitchen, I had way too many dishes. The kids, for some reason, love to use a million cups in a day. I think it's some kind of challenge to them, honestly, but I didn't even have enough space in the dishwasher for everything, so I also have the little dryer over here next to the sink that's also full. If anyone has tips on how to keep a toddler off a dining room table, as you can see, my chairs are up on my table back there. It's because Gwen likes to climb on the table as soon as she gets access to a chair. So if anybody has any tips, I would greatly appreciate it. I've recently learned that kitchen sinks are one of the germiest places in your house. So I've been making sure to really clean mine good probably about every other day now just to fight off as many germs as I can in this house. Thank you. 
told the kids they could pick their lunch. Chocolate chip muffin. Bowl of cereal back there, sharing with the baby. Long yeah. hair got fold. <laughs> Declan's yelling. She's having corn and not sure yeah. what else. A little weird one. And what are you eating? Peanut butter and jelly taco. Yes, this is his thing now. Peanut butter and jelly taco. If you've ever been curious what laundry looks like for a family of seven, this is about it. First thing I have to do is sort it out into who it all belongs to, and then I will go ahead and let the bigger kids take theirs, fold it and put it away themselves, but I still have to do myself, Connor, all of the towels and linens, and then the two babies. How can I compare thee when no one ever, ever could come close? Look around, but I can't see. That is usually just how it goes. Brought a new horizon. Opened up our doors to something more. Spun me round and you shook me. Got me tainted to the core. So tell me, tell me, tell me what to do. When nothing, nothing, no one ever comes close to you. Close to you. For the love. working on putting clothes away and that's what I find the tiny ones doing. We're gonna halt the cleaning part for a minute and we're gonna do some cooking part because I found this little bag meal that goes in the pressure cooker that I wanna try and I'm pretty excited about it and I'm gonna use it as my meal prep for the next several days for lunch. This is the company. I saw that they will deliver it straight to your front door which is kinda why I wanted to try this when I found it in Walmart. And it has both for the pressure cooker and stovetop if you'd rather do it that way. So, we're gonna give this a try. I just followed the directions on the bag. It wanted four cups of water and then it tells you to remove the sauce packets from the frozen mess and then open them and squeeze them into the pressure cooker. It didn't specify that there was more than one bag in the directions and it was definitely a struggle bus to get that frozen thing open. As you could see, all the vegetables really stuck to it it was a struggle to get that thing open and then I realized there was a second one in the bottom of the bag that I also had to rip open. It tells you to use the meat stew button and then it does want you to use low pressure. I've never had to do that on a recipe before so it does take me a minute here to figure out how to turn my pressure down. The frozen sauce packet part of that is definitely hard but this is in here and it's gonna be in here for probably another good 15 or so minutes. So while that's doing it, I'm gonna go back into the kitchen. My cabinets are awful. I'm actually gonna show you in a minute because they're white and you really can't see on the camera too well, but I will show you exactly what I mean. It's really, really bad. 
My family definitely abuses these white cabinets. It's so awful. They're dirty all the time, but I love them. I, it makes my kitchen look so much bigger to have the white cabinets, and I really, really, really do love them. So they're worth the struggle. I just use a microfiber cloth with water, and that's literally all I use, so there's no risk in damaging the paint or the wood. If you're looking for an easy, cheap way to keep your babies out of your cabinets, this is just a hair tie. I have a pack of hair ties and it's on each set of doors in my kitchen. And then there's Gwen trying to open one, I close it and she knows not to mess with the hair ties. After four minutes of a natural pressure release, go ahead and get the rest of the pressure out of the pot. It smells really good, it's but a weird texture. Like, let me see if it'll focus on that. And there it is. Look at the grainy, like gritty. I have no idea what's causing that. I wanna try a piece of the meat so bad. I hope it's good, but that's got me a little freaked out. Portioned out the soup, so I don't remember how many ounces these are, but it's the smaller ones of the Tupperware, and it only did four of them. So if you're looking for size of how much it makes, there you go. <sighs> Happy boys back in the car. Hello, baby. It's Exactly 3.30. Yeah. He's in the driver's seat because Connor ran in to go get something to eat, but if he'll let me show you, otherwise I'll show you later. The reason he went in is he's got a lump right there. I don't know, I'll try and get a better view of it later, but he had to go get that tested so we can see what's wrong with it and we'll know in about seven to 10 days, but he's happy now. There's a better view of the lump and you could see where they needle biopsied it right there, but it's been growing so it's time to take care of it. You put up with so much crap from me. I looked. I looked. Mm, it's no, so dark. No. You're not even gonna be able to see it. Hunter. Hunter. No, My good. Don't. You put up don't with so much yet. crap. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken Alfredo time, it's real easy. I season the chicken really, really well because sometimes the sauce is just too bland for us. Tonight I'm using chicken tenders, but you can really use any chicken you want. I've actually used the frozen chicken patties before and the kids went crazy over that too. Little olive oil in the pan and then put all the cut up chicken in the pan. And then I'm just gonna use some salt, pepper, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and then Italian seasoning, a pretty good amount of the Italian seasoning. Then you're gonna go ahead and add the whole jar of sauce. I like to use one of these little tiny spatulas and really make sure I get every bit of that out of there. Cook your noodles according to the box. Made it up and you've got a real easy dinner that the kids will love. Now that dinner's done and we've had some time to hang out with the kids and play as a family, 
Connor and I are gonna go ahead and get these sheets back on this bed now that they're clean and fresh from the dryer. That is one of my favorite things in the world is fresh sheets straight from the dryer right before bed. The kids are all finally in bed and I am finally done cleaning so I can sit down with my computer right here and edit for the next little bit, watch a TV show or two with my husband and then go to bed. But I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, found it very motivating to help you get through everything you need to get done. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time. Good night.